Hi everyone, Jen Pike here in my yoga clothes, in my glory. This is my true zen right now. Spandex, can cross my legs, so comfortable. Comfy sitting here reading your questions and getting ready to answer them for you on the Simplicity Project TV. So my book, The Simplicity Project, it is not just about food and about you know our hormones, it's all of that, but it's also how you move your body, how you get your groove on, how you stimulate this system to feel your best in everything that you do. And so I'm pumped to answer this question today, which is about yoga, one of my true loves of life. How do I know what type of yoga is best for me? There are so many different types out there. How do I know if I'm choosing the one that is going to get me where I want to be? awesome question and my question back to you would be well where is where you want to be what is your goal there are a lot of different types of yoga and thank goodness that there is because it creates an opportunity for us to really deliver a product that everyone can access so i would definitely visit your local studios that are around you Something like a basics or yoga essentials is great because that's going to give you the foundation. You need to know how to do the poses before you can get into a more challenging vinyasa or flow type practice in class. So start at the beginning until you know what a down dog is, you know how to plank your way into your chaturangas, and you understand what the heck a sun salutation is. Once you start to get there, listen to your body's guidance. Then you can start to move up into some of the more hatha based classes and then the vinyasa or the power vinyasa classes. Vinyasa merely means that we are linking these poses together and creating a continuous flow. And it's that continuous flow that is going to wake up Agni, that deep belly fire, and it is going to turn the heat on in your body. And that's how you want to produce the heat. You want to be churning and working in a way where all of a sudden in a where you feel like, oh my gosh, the internal thermostat was just turned on and now I am sweating and dripping and I can feel my heart rate pumping. That's when you know you have tapped into some incredible potential. So take a look at those different styles. There's also therapeutic yoga, restorative yoga, which is just so unbelievably blissful. If you need to reduce your stress, if you have a lot of injuries and aches and pains, working with a skillful restorative yoga instructor and therapeutic yoga instructor is priceless. It is so beneficial. And sometimes we have to learn how to back off a little bit, slow the pace of our body down to really get into where it will move us forward into the rest of our life and to the rest of our days. Um, there's yoga nidra, which is like as a sleep nidra. There is meditation, many different forms. Yes, you are right. Finding the best one for you is really about going and doing your research. Most studios that I know of in and around the GTA and our surrounding areas First class is for free, or you can do incredible promotions like we offer 30 days for $30. A lot of other studios do 40 days for $40. Do your research, check it out, whatever you do, get that mat, get your butt to a class, unroll it, and just enjoy the bliss of whatever happens. Because I can guarantee you, the hardest pose you will ever do is simply showing up. Everything else is a bonus from there. Have an incredible day. Move your butt.